Welcome back to the channel. I recently got in these Regal Robot Sankara stones, so I thought I would do an unboxing video for you guys. So if you want to check out Tom Spina Stones, the owner of Regal Robot, stick around. For those of you who are not familiar with Regal Robot, they're known for doing high-end replica props. And over the years, they've been mostly known for Star Wars. But just last year, they started getting into Indiana Jones. So the first um, item they came out with, I think they call it their, their archive collection, was the urn. And that actual urn sold out in a matter of a couple of hours. Um, the next item they came out with was the chalice and that one, they ended up doing some week long thing, um, for pre-orders. So that kind of set the addition size. And then the third item they've come out with is, uh, these stones that I have here. And they actually came out with two different versions. So they came out with a um version of three stones and they also came out with a version of just one single stone which i did not get and i think that was based kind of off the uh the stone that the the shamala at the end got that indiana jones um handed to him um but as you can see i also own a lot of other pretty nice uh indiana jones prop replicas i'll put a Maybe a link in the description if you guys want to check out uh, more info on that because I did, I did do a video on that a while back. But anyhow, let's get into this unboxing and, and see how these stones are. So as you can see, there's nothing, nothing special about the outside box. Looks like it just has some cushioning here. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. So yeah, came double boxed. There's nothing really too fancy about this box here. See what they did in here. All right, yeah, I mean, roughly nothing too fancy. I think with the, the chalice and the urn, it kind of made it look like a little bit more of a, like a package you were receiving a hundred years ago. But uh, that one is not quite boxed up that way. Let's check out what's in the envelope here. It is sealed. So I typically don't like ripping anything that I receive. So let me try to unseal this without ripping it. Oh, a little bit of a rip. Bad though. All right, looks like it's just a, a card here. And I won't hold this up there too long, but it's just something uh, talking about the stones here, a little bit about it. And you can see that uh, Tom Spina himself signed it. And it looks like, um, Ultimately, they made 225 of these. 
side. So here we got the, the base, just a plain wood base, pretty much everything so far in the archive collection has come with that same wood base, which is a good thing. I mean, if you want to keep continuity with all the items that you, uh, that you release, you want to kind of have the same thing. So yeah, as you can see, really nothing, nothing special. It's just a, a wood base and they put a little velvet there where you should place the stones to, to kind of protect it from scratching. All right, and then you can see where they have the stones in here. Let's get to the, well, that's actually first. Looks like this is gonna be the plaque. I know some collectors hate name plaques. You know, when they're classically done, I kind of like them. You see them, this kind of style with the with Star Wars a lot. And of course, all the, the other um, real robot stuff has, has come with the, the same style plaque. So yeah, looks like I have number 111. So yeah, ones are wild. Kind of like that. This. this out here. Let's see what these actual stones look like. Now these are not the lighted versions. You may have noticed in my Indiana Jones collection, I do have some good lighted versions. Maybe I will, uh, I will show that off. Here is the first stone. Yeah, I mean, it definitely looks like something they used in the movie. And they call it the Archive Collection because Tom and his team were able to get into the archives and actually um, borrow the the props that were used in the movie, which uh, for these stones, many versions were, were used and um, actually do a copy of them. So you can see the there's chunks of stones, the little, little bitty chips of each one. I've got a light here. Once I get them all out, I'll kind of show the, um, they're a little translucent. We'll see what it looks like. Looks like under that light. I have a feeling a lot of those props that you you saw that I have, that eventually they're going to slowly be releasing each one. Would be my guess, or at least some of them. So like a lighted version of these stones, I definitely see that's something they're going to do. It'll be interesting. I really like the set that I have right now. But uh, as far as accuracy and, and their take on it, I'll be interested to see what they come up with, if indeed they do come up with it. So yeah, there is the, the three stones. I mean, there's really not a whole, whole lot to see with these. Let me go ahead and shine a light through just to kind of show the translucency yeah you can see like on the top part hopefully I'm getting this in the camera you can see where there are particles especially towards the top this one looks like and the single stone apparently has a lot more particles inside of it. But anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera off. Maybe I'll get my lighted stones over here and uh, do shoot a little bit more of a video to kind of check out both sets of stones that I have. And uh, we'll wrap this thing up. Here's some close up views of the stones and I went ahead and pulled out my 
my light it version also. Now, one thing I did find interesting, let me just kind of pull out the, the two bigger stones here, is my, my lighted stones are definitely larger. They're probably, oh, a good, you know, these, these real robot ones would be more like 90% compared to these at 100. But I know Regal Robot scan these off the actual props. Um, so... I guess these were the, the stone heights and the, the ones that I got, even though I, I heard they were scanned off some, uh, some of the original stuff also, or are from some of the molds. They're definitely about 10% bigger. But yeah, you can see the little bit of the translucency. I'll go ahead and shine a light again where you got this close up on both of these stones. But yeah, I mean, it definitely, you know, you're getting something very close to, to what they were using in the movie. Now, these Regal Robot stones definitely are not cheap. Um, this set cost $6.99, and I think the single one they won at $2.99, which is, you know, definitely on the pricey side. I don't know if you guys uh, noticed a few months back, there was these heritage auctions and they were liquidating all the Planet Hollywood stuff. And man, there were so many cool, iconic props from, you know, various movies. And it was like a three, actually, man, maybe it was a five day thing. So basically for all those days, they were auctioning off all these, these, these iconic um, movie replicas. And I, I knew they would go for some pretty good prices, but I, I was kind of look, I looked through the entire catalog. It was just kind of neat to, to see some of these items. Um, but one of the items was these actual stones. And like I said, they, they made many sets for the movie. But they had the three stones from the movie, and I, I followed it just to see what it would go for. And with the fees, it actually went for $100,000. So I guess $699 is looking, looking awful cheap compared to if you want to own the, the real set from the movies. But let me go ahead and shine a light, guys, so you can see that again. go so you can kind of see the particles inside that they put in there and that these are actually pretty um, translucent which is a nice touch and then we've got my lighted stones which actually I, I like them a lot now I've never had in hand the real lighted stones that were used in the movie um, but these ones look really good when light lit up and, uh, kind of what they used inside of it. So it was a prop maker in Italy that, uh, that made these. But anyhow, as mentioned, definitely could see Regal Robot doing a lighted version someday. And I'll, I like to see what, uh, what theirs look like. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching another video. I'm a huge fan of home theater and these movie replica props. I'm going to put out a couple of videos each week in those areas. And if you're a huge fan like I am, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.